Hello and how are we? It's Dawn from The Silver Finch and today I've got just a few things here and there that I've been working on but if you haven't already subscribed I would love it if you would do so. So let's get into this video. Okay so I wanted to share this with you. Um, a friend of mine messaged me and asked me if I could use some of these. I said absolutely. So she brought them to me over the weekend. I love it because look at these lids. Well, sorry. And they're all cleaned up. So I've got a few ideas that I want to go over these with you. Then I had this from last year. It's a white. And then I had this one. So I want to do a Valentine's project with this. Then I picked this up to make a little tarts, I thought, for Valentine's Day. So I think those are so cute. So I want to do that. But I want to show you what I'm going to do with these and um, reuse something. So I got these um, Crayola. This is um, Pearl. And this is Bold and Bright. And I thought I could put these in here. I thought that would be a really good idea. So my grandkids come, it's all up and put a lid on it. So, so I was able to use these for multiple things. I was able to use them to hold rubber bands and on paper clips, some odds and ends. Um, I actually wish I had a few more, um, but this one here, I like to put little paper and then my granddaughter's scissors when she comes. And then I love these little clips. They're great if you want to hang curtains, but they're also great if you want to hang it behind a wreath. You just clip it on and then you can hang it by the ring. So I've always had, have these laying around. And then it's always great to have a little change jar as well. Now we're going to make a banana fluff dessert. This is like the easiest, quickest dessert. Um, you can put it together in just a matter of minutes. Okay, so I'm going to make this little dessert. Um, it's real easy. You just need a tub of Cool Whip. Sorry for the noise. My husband's up working. Just a little roller. Um, any kind of pudding that you want, just make sure it's instant. Um, I have banana because that's my son's favorite and he's coming over. A banana and a few graham crackers. That's it. So we're going to mix this with the pudding in here. And then we're going to slice a few bananas in each bowl. Pour it over. And then sprinkle a few little graham crackers on it. Pretty easy. And here it is. It disappeared within a matter of minutes. It is so good. I also like to use just the chocolate as well. Now, I like to do meal planning for the entire week. Um, I like to cook on Sundays usually, and um, I came up with, I think we're doing lasagna, chicken tostitos, um, a baked chicken casserole. Um, it just I just like to get it all prepped, ready, so when I get home or my husband gets home, things are ready, and it also saves money, it saves time. And I made me a little cucumber tomato salad for the week. And that way I can just scoop it out. It's ready. If I want to add a dressing on it, I can. If not, it's not that big of a deal. But I sliced up these carrots. I love to take them and put a drizzle, a little oil on them and a little cinnamon sugar. I also had time to make some homemade bagels, just real easy. Um, I can link the recipe down below. Two ingredients, Greek yogurt and some self-rising flowers. And then you can season them on the toppings with whatever you like. So these are always good to grab in the morning and go. Um, these are the chicken tostados barbecue. They are so good. I love these things. Um, made a couple of homemade chicken pot pies. And then this is my favorite go-to. I love to use English muffins for grilled cheeses. You should try it sometime. Now I'm going to take the space. Um, as you know, it's winter time here in Ohio. Really haven't had a lot of snow, um, but it is kind of cold and dreary out. And I just thought um, these tulips I've had for several years. I love tulips, especially the fake ones, so I can't kill them. But I think it's always great just to kind of brighten up a space. And um, Valentine's is coming up, so the pinks and the reds are just super cute. 
and um, I just love it. But I did take these jars that I had from last year and I was able to put some faux flowers in them and it can just brighten up any space in the room that you like. And there it is with the different color tulips in them. And I just, I, I just think it just puts a smile on my face no matter where you're at. Um, I had this little space before and I thought I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to give it a whole new look. And so I got it all cleaned up. I refreshed it and um, just added a few little touches to it. And it just now, just sometimes if you just rearrange a space, it can give a whole room an entire look. And of course I added a few little flowers, um, but just gives it a whole new look. So if you're getting tired of something and want to change it, just take everything out start from scratch and, and give it a new look. Here's Miss Maven. We wanted to give you a pup date. Isn't she getting so big? They're eight months old now. And Maven will allow me to put little bows in her hair. Maris does not cooperate so much, but we are just having so much fun with these girls. And um, this is absolutely my favorite picture. Um, it just steals my heart and these girls are so lovable. They're gentle little giants. And there's Miss Dolly in the back. She's still the boss of the house, that's for sure. But um, we are just loving them to death. And I want to tell you about this little telephone um, booth. Our family, our Nana is from England. And so my brother got this piece and he gave it to us. And so I wanted to use it. Um, I wanted to rip out all the wine stuff, which I did. Um, the racks tossed them out. And there is a little drawer in there, but I want to get an old faux um, phone. And so the grandkids can play in there and I'll definitely be putting some of our items from England in. So just a fun little piece. And um, I think the grandkids are just going to absolutely love it. And um, I, I can't wait for them to come and play with it. Next video, we are doing something with some faux brick, an old fireplace we've had from years, and we're creating a new space with a new project. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.